Kinnibus is actually not too too hard to learn as a, as opposed to I don't know like I think it's even easier than things like Spanish and South American uh, Portuguese and whatnot just because they they don't have a lot of like conjugation and whatnot um, it its relation it kind of sounds like a more Polynesian language even though it's in this Micronesia area. Um, some common phrases from Kitabis, you have hello, which is Maori, uh, how are you, kowara, uh, I'm good, imerurum. Uh, as far as pronunciation goes, if you get the, the uh, there's only a few letters, it uses the Roman um, alphabet, the alphabet that we have in English, and uh, you just need a, I guess, what do you call that, where... The language, what you see is how it sounds if you can pronounce the, um, the letters. So uh, it's written using that. Prior to that, it wasn't actually a written language. And so missionaries from, I want to say the, the, the Protestant missionaries came in the early 1900s and they uh, standardized the language, at which point now it's kind of changed. But... Uh, they have an older language and a newer language, but now they're going more towards the newer language, the newer alphabet. Um, and it's not its not too hard to learn as long as you put for the effort. I think I like the fact that we were thrown into it because it forced you to, to learn because you couldn't communicate to anyone if you didn't uh, know the language. And so uh, being put into a situation where you have to learn, help me learn. It took me about five, six months to get a grasp of uh, being able to teach the lessons as well as um, understanding. I mean, still some things I I still don't understand. Maybe some things, <laughs> depending now. But uh, yeah, five to six months if you're studying every day using your language study time effectively, and then going out and uh, practicing the things that you've studied, I think is essential.